I'm reviewing the Midas air conditioner. It's not just the air conditioner, it's a heater as well. It comes with the remote. It has different modes on it. Let me switch out. We have the cooling mode. We have dry, which is interesting. We have heat, which we don't really need right now. And we also have fan. I'm going to turn it back to cool because it is very hot. Okay, so you have the option of turning on a timer just in case you might fall asleep out there. Timer on, timer off. Um, we could turn control the temperature. If I want to cool, I'm going to turn it down. Let me see how far it will go. Ooh. It goes down to six. It goes down to 62. I guess the little bleep is letting me know. It has LED. I think that is just. The LED option may be just for the um, the remote. I don't know what swing means, but whatever that is, it has it. We have C sits, and I don't. Oh, it tells what temperature it, it is. And right now it's 94 degrees. We also have a sleep mode, so that says uh, for. It says 94 now. I guess it's supposed to get to 62, and it gives me a little moon to let me know that it's a night mode. Very nice. The assembly I appreciate because we just replaced the old air conditioner, and the old conditioner was beat up, and it had this type of tubing to it. This one has a better tubing, which stretches out as far as you need it to. It also has the drainage. They asked me for the measurements of the window when I ordered. I had no clue. I didn't feel like it. My expectations were that they were going to send me a box air conditioner. I had no idea that this was what I would be getting, so I didn't really measure. But even though I didn't measure, here's the um, here's what holds the tubing in place that I put in the window and I just kind of closed the door on the patio just to keep it in place. But they also offered extras just in case. They offered, um, you know, just in case you have windows or something and it's going to crack, you have the option to seal in it to do your insulation. It also came with some tools just to make sure that you're able to keep it in place. So basically everything you needed was in here. And when I looked at it, I'm like, okay, this is going to be difficult to assemble. It wasn't. I, I put it to the side for a little while because I didn't feel like messing with it until I got off of, well, until the weekend. I didn't want to do it after work. But... It was simple. I got it together in five minutes, basically. I love it. It has this. This is adjustable. This is for the fan. The air is coming through here. I noticed this moved up and down. I don't know what made it move up and down, but I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And I'm just saying, this is excellent. It's probably better for you because I've had situations myself where I've had needed heat or I needed AC. You know, the bills get high. This is helpful. So let me turn it off. Okay, now it's off. I just wanted to see how long it would take for it to... There it goes. I just wanted to see how long it would take for it to cut off totally. So, if you want some information on it... Oh, check that out. It's closing. Like I told you before, the vent moves up and down. It's closing on its own. So, if you want some information on it, I'll let you guys know. It does show that it has a little filter area in the back where you change out the filters. I'm sure you just contact the company and change out the filters probably once a year or every six months all right any questions leave them below thanks for watching